Sup, babe? Starts farting. Do you want to block a report? I don't know, that's a pretty nice welcoming. I should accept it. Good day, my glorious gas station. My name's Jack the Genius Genie that gaslights you. Today, we're looking back at some more cringy stuff, the cringy picks, the great things, the, the stuff that you hate. Let's go! Would you like to sell your baby? I've recently had a miscarriage and I've been following you on Facebook. She's so beautiful. I've already given her a nickname and bought things for her. 16-year-old me on the far left at a birthday party I wasn't invited to, 2011. Oh, look at that. They even notified you about the dress code. Can't tell if they included you in the photo because they wanted to include you, or just so you always know this happened so that you never forget what you did. After two months of talking, I told this guy yesterday that I wasn't ready for a relationship, and he responded, It's been great. Hope you have a good one. And then he blocked me. No effort. No pressure applied. I'm devastated. How dare he take what I say at face value? Oh, it's like men don't even encourage my toxic behavior anymore. What the hell? Hey, so my sister has been uncomfortable with with the size of her breasts recently. And I know this is really weird. I told her that too, Lamal. But she was wondering if you could send her a picture of them, maybe. Just because she thinks you have nice breasts and wants to compare. Again, I know this is weird, but she knew I had you added on Snap. You can send them whenever. I'm just gonna give her the phone now and she will give it back to me after you send them to her. She really appreciates it and says thanks in advance. Wow. Well, I mean, since you typed an entire paragraph, of course it's believable. What the frick is wrong with you? Oh, uh, should I tell her no? Proceeds to stamp on his own table. Want to play 21 questions? Nah, not really. Okay, just ask me a question. But I just... Okay, I guess. Uh, you have any pet peeves? Yeah, I got a dog. Are you a virgin? Bye. It didn't even answer the question right. What the hell's... Do you have any pet peeves? Yeah, I got a dog. <laughs> a confession for Catherine. Dear Catherine, thanks for a great semester in Thermo. As you can tell, this message is oddly titled. <laughs> but that's exactly what this is. I've highly respected you as a professor, but now that the semester is over, I have also come to see you as a woman. <laughs> if we ever meet on campus, you will identify me because I will ask you to dinner. Happy winter break! LOL! Oh yeah, nothing more attractively mature in a male than one who ends their letters with LOL. But hey, points for the open confidence in how assured you are to want to date her. Careful, Snowflake. I drink coffee stronger than your feelings. It's funny, they'll post this, but they'll also watch Birds of Prey and say, Oh, it's promoting a feminist agenda! Down with Harley Quinn! Oh, is that a Cuomo I see? Wrapping his hands around a young lady? Look at her, just filled with glee. Not long now till she adds a testimony. Pro tip, unless you were dating her, or have definitely kissed before, don't do this. Bother you with my stupid feelings. You're good, dude. It's a rough time. It's no rougher than any other time. Can I ask you why, though? Because uh, I only want to be with a woman. Mainly that. What if I transitioned? I want to be a woman for you. I'm tired of being in denial about how I feel about you. I'm tired of shoving it down. I'll cut it off for you. I'll be your woman. Oh, no, no. As long as I can love you like I always wanted to. Yo, I'm sorry. I just don't feel that way. I don't know how to respond to that. This goes beyond comedy. This goes straight to concern. concern. Meanwhile on Frick My Life. Most popular site for emails back in 2009. Nice guy. Today I was fired from my job on account of sexual harassment towards females employees. The harassment? Jokingly offering them foot massages when they were complaining about how their feet ached after a long shift and complimenting them about their appearance when they felt down. For me. Oh, I guess he was expecting the uh, top bar to be far greater in difference to the lower bar. My cousin on Instagram who just started his diet recently. Over here's a standard American. American diet. And over here is me, what your cart should look like. Look, I'm just more genuinely concerned over the one beer. What is one beer? Dude, just get a case. His girlfriend is a smex doll, but that doesn't mean she can't have her own Facebook account. Stephanie. Well, Terry was really sick last weekend, his birthday, so we didn't get to do anything, so I celebrated it today. So here are some pics and his present I got him last week and had it hid. Love you, baby. Let's be honest, this is no different to those people creating AI Instagram accounts. But also, as far as I'm aware, a lot of people with mental disabilities or some heavy level of PTSD actually use their dolls as genuine partners to cope. But that said, that doesn't dismiss it from still being kind of weird. Presenting the duality of man. Obi-Wan Kaboom. <laughs> 
That's that's a good one. It's a creative way to say you like being pegged. Uh, how do you do, madame? Then there's Baz Andreas, who of course is into CrossFit. Do you like or not? She did until you came along. 18,000 year old puppy found frozen in ice, oldest confirmed dog ever. Ha! This is false. Earth's only 6,000 years old. My bud, if I cut you off, I'm single again. Uh, now who trying to smoke me out? You must be on birth control. Please get a vasectomy so you don't breed a kid. This guy asked my very eligible friend out after they just met. He didn't like that she proposed a different cafe option, so now he's dateless and material for my Twitter feed. Excellent use of their waste of energy. The kind of girl I'm looking for would say, yes, great, see you there to my offer. She would then show up on time. We would have a drink there, even if the vibe was good, walked to my place, hooked up and potentially have something good together on a regular basis. Any other response to me shows either low interest or respect or a tendency to be masculine, bossy, potential for future power struggles, etc. I like my girlfriends to be feminine, submissive, cooperating, happy for the opportunities I create. Just got to immediately mention that he is stating that the traits of a masculine person are therefore problematic and undesirable as a partner. He's basically saying he is undesirable as a partner. To cooperate requires two people to be cooperating, not just one. The word you're thinking of is doormat. Yep, it's for the best. The kind of guy I'm looking looking for would say, remarkably less sociopathic things. Lol, well, good luck. Remember people, it's good to have standards for yourself in a partner, provided you're looking for a partner and not a servant. Jesus, why haven't you sent a man into my life? I sent many. You friends aren't all the good ones. Meanwhile, those same guys also complaining that they have no friends. Maybe if you didn't try to sleep with every single one of them. I was going to get breakfast croissant. Feminine choice. Man, bad opinion, Red. There are some alpha croissants. Now it's a feminine breakfast. Uh, elaborate? You will never catch me eating something that sounds as gay as croissant. Miss me with that gay schmidt. This is why the French hate English people. I'm the friend you have to explain to your other friends before they meet me. Yo, is that orange smoke a bright pastel color? Bro, what are you? Someone who isn't attracted to women? Bro, like ill bro. That's so shameful, bro. Brave teachers ends bullying forever. Admittedly, they didn't do much for homophobia. Being bullied? Just act less gay. <laughs> Advise teachers. Victim blaming. It's never wrong. Hey, so this isn't the message I guess you wanted to be getting, but my ex contacted me again on the weekend and came to my work today, and I have decided instead of breaking up, we are going to give each other a second chance and start to date again and see what happens. I really don't know what else to say. Let's just note, this is a group chat with four other people. Doing it via group message to all the guys you're talking to. Efficient, I guess. Please hunt down that ex and warn him. Um, back in town. Single yet? <laughs> Definitely not. I'm sure the answer is still no. Just thought I'd check anyway. <laughs> gotcha. Well, I hope all is great, smiley face. Now let me just go over to my other chat. Well, she said we couldn't date anymore because it was too big and hurt her. <laughs> That's why. Oh, sh ah, ignore, ignore, ignore! Oh, I'm so sorry! Bro, if you want modern furniture, go to Ikea. Don't ruin vintage. No, she bought it, so it's hers, and she can do whatever she wants with it. Yeah, that's what they said about slow. Slaves. Didn't make it right though. How the frick did you bring slaves into a conversation about a thrifted table? It's simple. I'm Mr. Fantastic and here's how far I can reach. <coughs> Kyrie and Josh. Kyrie says her husband's Kid Rock impersonation is ruining her life. <laughs> why? Of all the people you could try and impersonate, why them? I would love to see her singing this song at this speed. Oh, and topless too. <laughs> you in the internet today, dude? LOL! <laughs> Thanks! You forgot to log into your other account when replying to yourself and liking your own comments, so I'm pinning this for everyone to see. Haha. -ha. Microsoft once held a funeral to mark the death of the iPhone when it launched its own line of phones. I swear, this kind of advertising and promotion by trying to dig on the other company, most of the time it just Barbara Streisands itself and makes everyone go for the other company. Because what's more fun than joining a company's bandwagon? Watching it flip on their own heads. Moderna, J&J, &J, and Pfizer teaming up to save the summer. Remember, it's not an effective swimsuit for a woman unless it's constantly zips down below the boobs. Mom, can you pick me up? The girl bossifying pharmaceutical companies again. 
On this day, John Lennon died. Spotify didn't know that. Remembering John today. Happy birthday, John! They shouldn't have given me the intern the Twitter account! I'm infamously known as the real manifestation of the Joker, aka the Clown Prince of Crime, aka the Jester of Genocide. I wasn't born. I was created when the world treated me like a monster, so I became one. I love this. He likely genuinely thinks this is what the Joker would do. Create a social media profile and just take a bunch of selfies. Stop using a fictional criminal as a social status. Miss you. Let's get together soon. It's been a while. Nice copy and paste. You just sent the exact same message to Red and she's sitting right next to me, you clown. Okay, and? Shoot or shoot. Send it out to about 40. Got three hits. I'm good. You're the clown. Did you really come back two hours after I didn't respond to text me that? Do you not feel shame? Kings don't feel shame. Oh, I bet you don't feel anything, do you, buddy? You big strong man, you. Your rap name is Lil, plus the last reason you were in hospital. Lil partner's miscarriage. Jesus! Delete the post! Daddy delivered his load. Load received. Ugh. I'm proof daddy isn't trucking all the time. Uh... Every day I wake up and I hope you're dead! He's been trying to kiss her all lunch. Friend zoned him to the max. Please just do the opposite of Rocky and give up. Elon Musk is nothing short of a genius and deserves each penny he has made. They are should feel lucky to even be beside him. I don't like these woke celebrities. Elon Musk is the man and they are probably just jealous of him. No, he truly is a genius from that emerald mine he made all in his own. Oh, wait. Reading the whole meme is for the poise. Millennials, quit whining. I paid off $150,000 in student loans and own a $400,000 home because I save. It's not that hard. I make coffee at home. Bus instead of Uber. Shop sales. Had parents pay off my loans and buy me a house because I'm daddy's special boy. Got Hulu with ads. Do you see where this is satire? Not the person who shared this though. Yeah, birth year makes me a millennial, but I agree with this 100% and worked my butt off to save and pay my dues. What the fuck? Serious question, what's the most polite way to ask a female friend for the good stuff? Well, there's your first problem, polite? Ha, <laughs> nah. Uh, don't? This is almost always a bad idea. If she is not the type to have casual stuff and has not told you as much, there's almost a guarantee this will end poorly if you just ask it out of the blue. Oh, that's the most fricked up reality of life. Men always have to pay women to have it on with them. It's either money, love, relationship, etc. Oh, free kinky times cannot exist just because of women. How are you doing just knowing that this opinion exists out there? Do, do you need some water? Do you need some time to just come back to this video? I understand. You are in no way, shape, or form entitled to that stuff. Oh, and women are somehow entitled to respect and freedom? What? I why are you comparing those things? God, if you are a man out there and are wondering why women so hate men so much, this is why. Yeah, absolutely. Smegs is a mutual agreement. Both people come to it willingly and by the bounds of their own human freedom. Both parties must agree to it. Otherwise, it's not the good stuff, bro. Well, Smegs is not a mutual agreement. Just think about it. Smegs is more like a transaction than a mutual agreement. A kind of transaction where women are always in the power. You drop in the coin, she lets you ride her for a few moments. How is that mutual? Smegs only ever happens when the woman wants. If Smegs was mutual, then guys could just ask women for Smegs all the time and get it. Wow, I'm beginning to see why no one wants to sleep with you. Why? Because I'm not willing to participate in your corrupt Smexual economy? No, because you talk like a misogynistic creep limafowl. I just love that he hates that women treat it like some sort of thing you have to pay for, but then literally Literally has the opinion that Smegs is a transaction than a mutual agreement. Basically, he hates the yes to pay for something when he thinks he should get it for free just because he should. Thank you, sir, for making the bar so low for women to find a decent man. That is all for the courageously cringy content. Thank you so much for watching. Of course, if you enjoyed your time, like this video. If you're new to the channel, do the subscribing at the bell notification, all that stuff as well. Otherwise, this has been fun. My name has been Jack. Feel free to say hello to me via the link in the description below. You have been a lovely person person to ramble with today and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.